here's a super simple guide for your first time performing a rendezvous and docking. Let's start by building our rocket. Instead of adding a parachute on top of the command pod as usual, we're putting a docking port there. We'll instead put two parachutes on the side. After adding a decoupler, we can build our orbiter stage. I'd recommend adding an SAS module for better control, but this is optional. However, you need to make sure that you add monopropellant tanks or you won't be able to dock. Now, turn on the center of mass. We're going to add our RCS thrusters just slightly above the center of mass. This is because our center of mass will shift upwards slightly as we burn fuel. After building out the rest of the rocket, we can launch and take it to a nice circular orbit. I'm going to do just an orbit of 100 kilometers here. Once you're in orbit and you've deployed your solar panels, don't forget this important step. Point your rocket north. This may seem like a trivial thing, but it will really help us later. Now let's head back to the Space Center and go straight to the launch pad. We're going to launch a copy of the same rocket we've just launched, only this time we're going to put it in a higher orbit. This one should go anywhere between 150 and 250 kilometers. Just make sure it is nice and circular. Okay, now we're in orbit. First, let's make sure our orbital inclination is the same as our targets. To do this, burn normal at the descending node or anti-normal at the ascending node until it goes down to zero. Now comes the tricky part, actually getting the rendezvous. The thing is, it's all about timing. Set off at the wrong time and you may not get the encounter, and you'll have to do a few orbits before you can correct it. See, it's all about the angle between the two spacecraft with respect to the center of the planet. This is called the phase angle. We want this phase angle to coincide with the ideal Hohmann transfer angle. What's the Hohmann transfer angle? I made a video on this concept a few days ago, so feel free to check that out. For those who don't want to do maths, I'll do it for you. Assuming your starting spacecraft is in a 100 kilometer orbit, here are the phase angles for a 150, 200, and 250 kilometer orbit, respectively. So, when we have the required phase angle, we need to burn retrograde to get the encounter. In my footage here, I just guessed an angle that looked right and set up a maneuver node there and tweaked it until it was close enough. Close enough is pretty subjective, but I like my encounters to have less than one kilometer of separation between the targets. Once you have this encounter close enough, we can time warp towards it. When you get there, you're going to be moving at speed relative to your target, so you need to slow down. To do this, set your nav ball to target mode and burn retrograde. And burn until your relative velocity is zero. Don't worry if you overshoot. Once your relative velocity has been canceled out, you can start moving towards the target. With the nav ball still in target mode, align your prograde and target vectors. This means you move directly towards the target, but don't go too fast. Docking is a test of patience and shouldn't be rushed. When you're reasonably close, you'll see the spacecraft we left pointing north. We now want to point the second spacecraft south so the docking ports are facing each other. We then need to maneuver ourselves so that the target vector is pointing south on the nav ball. When we get it there, we then align our prograde vector south for the final approach. Do not try to rush this. I suggest a maximum speed of 0.5 meters per second here, slowing down to 0.1 meters per second when you get really close. The docking ports contain magnets, which will attract each other when in very close proximity, which should help you out. Just keep them pointed in the right direction and let the magnets take care of the rest. And just like that, docking is confirmed. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, leave a like and let me know in the comments. Good luck with your first rendezvous.